so today we will discuss the locust it's a burning problem its biology nature of damage and finally management as we know that locust problem is increasing day by day in india and now it has reached up to the delhi so what locust is locust is nothing but it is a collection of certain species of sort of grasshopper uh, it comes in family acridity and uh, locust have two phases uh, solitary phase and uh, swarming phase so the insect are usually solitary but under certain circumstances they become more abundant and change their behavior and habit and finally it become the gregarious phase so no taxonomical uh, distinction between the solitary and gregarious phase it's a single species and under the favorable condition the solitary phase become the gregarious phase this green one is a solitary phase means it survive singly and under favorable condition it become the gregarious phase and uh, life cycle of locust so as earlier i have told you uh, under suitable condition and uh, favorable condition of locust is the drought followed by the rapid uh, vegetation uh, so we can say the serotonin chemical in the brain which it triggers a dramatic set of change and they start to build abundantly become the gregarious phase so we can say that in the solitary phase there is a change inside the brain and serotonin secretion takes place in the brain of this solitary phase locust and it convert into the gregarious locust under the favorable climatic condition and favorable climatic condition is drought followed by the rapid vegetation so under the favorable climate climatic condition this solitary phase convert into the gregarious phase so this uh, gregarious phase they form the bands of wingless nymphs which later become the swarm of winged adult so both the bands and the swarm move around the rapidly stiff field and cause the damage to the crop we can say both the swarm as well as the nymphal band nymph means immature stage of the locust and the swarming stage of the locust they both form the they both cause the damage to the crop and in this picture it lay egg inside the soil so now mating and uh, male locust uh, on the back of the female applied the tip of his abdomen uh, to her and pass the sperm into the reproductive tract and the sperm are stored in the sperm sac in the female abdomen uh, and the egg passed down to the ovipositor in the brain the sperm are released uh, into the and finally fertilized so this is the mating of male and female uh, locust and uh, we can say now we can say egg laying so x after mating the female lays her egg in warm moist uh, uh, sand following a rainy spell so this is the egg laying of locust inside the sandy soil it lay egg inside the sandy soil after warm and moist season so warm and moist season is very much responsible for and like these are eggs of locust so the female uh, locust pushes her abdomen down into the sand and uh, we can say uh, up to the depth of 50 to 60 mm so it lay egg up to the depth of 50 to 60 mm you see this is the ovipositor of female insect and these are the eggs covered with the egg froth covered with the we can say egg cell so uh, generally it lay 50 to 100 eggs are laid and uh, mixed with the frothy fluid this is the frothy fluid covered the egg cell of that uh, female so after 10 to 20 days uh, depending on the temperature and moisture the egg hatches so these egg hatch uh, after 10 to 20 days egg hatch uh, and uh, these are uh, after hatching the uh, we can say from the egg Uh, hopper emerges out from the insects so now we come to the swarming 
So if food is in adequate supply and the hoppers are not forced to crowd together, when they emerge from the eggs, the locusts live their life separately as to other, as the, like the other grasshopper. Uh, if however the hoppers are crowded together for one reason or another, they enter a gregarious phase of the activity. The hopper tend to keep together in a band and move forward together. The crowding effects also result in a change of the color from normal green, buff or brown uh, to a striking black and yellow coloration. So uh, there are also structural differences from the soldiery form. So the bands of upper vary in size from hundreds to million, covering the few square meter to several square kilometer, depending we can say on the on the age of the hopper and how many bands have been combined. So there are several bands uh, on the earth, we can say bands of the this uh, nymph uh, was there in the near the agony spots. So as hopper, uh, they migrate only a few kilometers each day and bask, basking in the early morning, uh, basking sun early morning until their body temperature raised to a level which allow them to move off and uh, you can say eat all the vegetation in their path. So it consumes whatever the vegetation comes in their path, it will consume. So when the temperature drops at night, they climb bushes and plant stems and remain immobile. So at night, it generally stays over the plant or bushes on its way. So local swarm and climate change is very important. So uh, last five years have been, we can say, hotter than any other since the industrial revolution and since 2009. So, study have link uh, a hotter climate to more damaging locust swarm, uh, leaving Africa and uh, you can say uh, wet weather also very much favors the multiplication of the locusts. Widespread uh, above average rain that uh, prompted the Horn of Africa from October to December 2009, and uh, it was uh, not uh, it was 400% above the normal rain. In the, this African subcontinent. So we can say this is the uh, cloud or the ocean uh, African subcontinent and uh, we can say uh, two years before in 2018 there was severe rainfall uh, in African subcontinent and severe rainfall and uh, 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 severe rainfall with the enhancement of the temperature may be responsible for the locust outbreak in the particular region. So during the last two millennia, locust plague continue to appear at irregular interval with the main recorded outbreak of the desert and migratory locust occurring in Africa, Middle East and Europe region. So other species of locust caused havoc in North and South Africa and Australia. Uh, 173 outbreak over a period of 1924 year have been recorded and a major species is the Bombay locust nomadacasis was the major pest in India and southwestern Asia and a large plague have been observed in 1908. So let's uh, start the outbreak of locust in African subcontinent. So in 2018, so first picture depicts the 2018, two cyclones bring heavy rain to the Arabian desert and help locust breed freely. And uh, in 2019, we can say again, locust spread out and breed more and the rare storm keeps condition favorable. Large scale control operation uh, use pesticide to combat the locust was were carried out, but uh, these efforts were not possible in Yemen and Somalia like that due to some disturbance, political disturbance. And uh, so a result of this cyclone storm in this region and uh, in Somalia and Ethiopian region, Somalia and Ethiopia were unable to manage this pest in 2019 due to, we can say, heavy cyclone and uh, enhancement of the temperature, 
this locust multiply in this region, Somalia, Ethiopia, Yemen, Oman, like that, this region. So February 2020, locust swarm threatened to damage the crop of five countries in this region, like Ethiopia, Sudan, uh, in February 2020, this uh, heavy damage had, had observed. So Kenya and Ethiopia were experiencing their worst infestation in decades, and locusts are now spreading to Uganda and Tanzania. So from 2018, 2019, and 2020, these all regions, Saudi Arabian, Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, like that, these all are the breeding points of the locust. This desert uh, uh, is, uh, is the breeding point of this locust breeding and multiplication point of this locust. So this locust swarm starts from this region only. And as earlier I have told you that from Ethiopia, it migrate directly to the India Indian subcontinent from Ethiopia, particularly uh, in May and June with the help of winds, uh, oceanic winds, it migrate from this Ethiopian to Indian subcontinent. And from Africa, it uh, swam, locust migrate to Iran and Pakistan and finally it hit the Indian boundary in May 2020. May 2020, it hit the Indian boundary via Pakistan. So finally, we can say that this locust attack came, comes from Africa, from this region, uh, Somalia, Ethiopia, Sudan, Yemen, via Pakistan and Arab, and finally it hit to the Indian subcontinent in May 2020. So you can see the, the locust plague in 2020, so red uh, depicts the danger zone, danger uh, reason. So India comes in a danger region, particularly in the Rajasthan area and Punjab area, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, and finally its uh, main land of origin is Africa. So these are the, we can say reason of the locust attack. So red is the swarms and orange is the bands band of the nymphal, re nymphal area like that. So, and green is the hopper, hopper population. Orange depicts the nymphal population and green depicts the hopper population. So, so India faced its worst locust swarm in nearly 30 years. So, you can say with about 50,000 hectares of cropland destroyed by locusts in India, and it's facing the worst food shortage since 1993. And 8 to 10 farms, each measuring around square kilometers, are active in part of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh. And this has been observed by the KL Gujar, Deputy Director General of Locust Warning Organization. So the locusts have also made their way to other states of India, including Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh. And this Dr. K.L. Gujar also warned that the locusts could move towards the capital city of Delhi if wind speed and direction was favorable. So it may reach up to the Delhi. Now it is restricted to the Rajasthan and Maharashtra, but it may come to the Delhi also. So you see, this is the locust population. And according to FAO, uh, World Food Organization, these locusts typically attack the western part of India and some part of the state of Gujarat from June to November. However, the Ministry of Agriculture uh, Locust Warning Organization is spotted uh, them in India as early as in April month. So a swarm of 40 million locusts can eat as much food uh, as 35,000 humans, according to FAO estimate. The current swarm has destroyed seasonal crop in the state of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Uh, uh, this will lead to the lower production than uh, usual and rise of the price of stuff. So, and uh, now this is the breeding season of locust in India. So, uh, however, there are, are several breeding season, winter breeding season, summer breeding season, but in India, we can say summer breeding season, July to October is the perfect breeding season of uh, Locust, particularly in the Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Haryana region. July to October is the breeding season of this locust. So 
now we come to the management of lupus so we can manage this lupus with help of several tactics uh, physical and cultural control methods continue to the be practices along in a combination with the chemical control especially against uh, small infestation in the crop or copper bands near the crop plant so for example some farmers combine the use of pesticide uh, with the fire burning the roosting locust at night the farmer dug trenches and uh, herded copper band into the deep trenches and buried them and these are locust control management thoughts uh, uh, were influenced by the URO's preventive control strategy of treating bands and swarm as soon as they form in outbreak areas. So we have to treat the bands and swarm as well as they emerge out from the egg laying area. So finish the this locust at the egg laying point itself. We have to dig the egg pores and crush the egg pores in the egg laying region. So some other methods is a beating uh, or trampling on the hoppers it's a very good practices in the rural areas beating the drum and lighting the torch and digging up the egg pots or blowing field infrastructure with the egg pots so we can dig out the egg pots in the jodhpur region or desert area is a breeding season uh, from july july to october is a perfect breeding season of the locusts in july to october we have to dig out the egg pots from this uh, particularly breeding areas scattering uh, straw over the roosting sites and then burning it and lightning fires or making noise to prevent the swarm from settling in the crop making noise or uh, beating of the drum is a common practices uh, to prevent the locust attack and, light and lighting the torch and driving hopper into the trench and burning down or crushing them and use of flame throwers use of flame throwers is also a rural practices so these are again i am repeating these are the practices beating or trampling of the hoppers your use of flame throwers driving hopper into trenches and burning them and lighting fires and uh, these are the rural practices and finally uh, we come to the chemical insecticide most commonly used now these days uh, india are phenytrothion and malathion these are the insecticide and these organophosphates are principally contact insecticide with short residual reaction to Three days. So, however, some other methods are uh, there. Sterile insect technique method uh, have been used for CC fly, but it is not possible to uh, we can say confine this locust in a particular area. So, it, it, uh, we can't adopt this technique. Several bio pesticides have been developed from the entomopathogenic fungus. This is Metarhizium acridium. So, this insect is infected with the Metarhizium fungus like that. So, however, uh, supply of this matter is very much limited in the Indian market, so it would not be possible to, uh, we can say, manage the locust in a large area with the help of this matter region. So, new technologies. So, a technique using much smaller volume of spray liquid called ultra low volume ULP malathion technique, ultra low volume malathion. So, uh, it is initially developed in 1950 and it is very effective technique for the locust control method. So, it is uh, defined uh, as applying between uh, 0.5 to 5 liter of spray liquid per hectare, although between 0.5 and 1 liter per hectare is preferred for ultra low volume liquid locust control. So, 0.5 to 1 liter of ULV, malathion or fentrothion we can use per hectare, 0.5 to 1 liter. So this small quantity of concentrated insecticide is not mixed with the water or any other liquid. So the special formula known as ULV formulation, it is usually supplied ready to spray. So we can use the ultra low volume melathion, ultra low volume fentrothion at the rate of 0.5 to 1 liter per hectare. So special spray are required for ultra low volume spraying uh, we can say sp special sprayer are required for this and currently de desert locust infestation are sprayed with ultra low volume formulation of contact pesticide by using ULVA mast and by Micronear AU8115 sprayer these are the modified sprayer for the ultra low volume spray 
So we can't spray this ultra low volume insecticide with help of normal sprayer. We have to modify the sprayers. And FAO provided a geographical positioning system, GPS uh, system, installed uh, RAMSES system with GIS tools on computer for quick data management and analysis by the national organization. Uh, the FAO also provided satellite data uh, imagery for planning the desert locus surveys according to the green vegetation availability in the field on the regular basis. And uh, recent improvement uh, at the national level include the use of computers, GPS, GIS tools, and e locus 2. This is the program. The new uh, products based on the satellite imaginary uh, that can distinguish uh, vegetated uh, locust habitats from the bare soil with reasonable, reliable, and transferred electronically from the FAO to the National Locust Unit to the plant surveyors. And uh, finally, uh, I have several recommendations. So, uh, recommendation on the farm level, how our farmer can combat the locust attack. So, there are simple recommendations, beating or trampling on the hoppers, digging up the egg pods, uh, plowing field interest with the egg pods, so digging up the egg pods, uh, this is a recommendation particularly in the Rajasthan region because Rajasthan is a breeding point of uh, particularly for India and, and uh, scattering straw over the roosting sites and then burning it and the lighting fires or making noise to prevent the swarm from settling in the crops. Uh, in this case, uh, we have to beating the drum and, uh, and lighting the torch and uh, driving hoppers into the trenches and burning drum, uh, burning or crushing them. So in initial stage, we can, can control this uh, hopper. So just after just after egg laying, we can say after eight days, uh, the hopper will come out from the egg laying uh, pouches. So after, uh, at this point, we can crush the hopper. Use of flamethrowers and finally spray of ultra low volume malathion 5 malathion at the rate of 1 to 5 liter per hectare uh, with tractor mounted sprayer or aerial sprayer and uh, you can say uh, high alert and quick response of local agriculture officer is very much effective for management of the locusts. So local agriculture officer have pivotal role for management of locusts. So if uh, some local officer give the quick response to the farmer, so farmer may, we can say, manage the locust in their own way. So thank you very much. Thank you. What <laughs> do